How's it going everybody? This is part time pilot. This is my first video of all time so bear with me. I'm going to do a video series on aircraft systems starting off with today's video of fuel systems. So let's get right to it. So there's two types of fuel systems, pump driven and gravity fed. We'll start off talking about pump driven. So pump driven systems are found in aircraft with low wings. So you got the pilot up here and you got the engine up here and our wings are sitting down here. Now our fuel is stored in the two wing tanks. So each wing has a tank and that's where our fuel is stored. So since the fuel is down here in the wings, we need some way to get it up into the engine. The way they do that is pumps. Pumps create a pressure differential from up in the engine to down in the tanks which create a positive flow of fuel upwards. You have two fuel pumps, an engine driven pump and an electrical fuel pump. The engine driven pump is just like it sounds. It's driven by the engine. So when the engine's running, the fuel engine driven fuel pump is running and creating that positive flow upwards. The electrical fuel pump or sometimes called auxiliary fuel pump is controlled by a switch in the cockpit by the pilot. The electrical fuel pump just adds to the flow already established by the engine driven fuel pump to add more fuel flow. So this is why we use it during landing or takeoff because those are critical stages of flight where we absolutely want to make sure that we're getting enough fuel flow during those stages of flight. So we turn on our fuel pump to make sure our fuel flow is sufficient for the for the high performance needed particularly for a take. The electrical fuel pump can also be used in case of an engine driven fuel pump failure. All right, so our fuel is down here in the wing tanks. It goes into the fuel selector valve. The fuel selector valve determines which tank to source from. Once that's established, that fuel will go up into the fuel strainer or gasculator. The fuel strainer or gasculator filters out anything that is not fuel. This could be water, small particles, basically anything that could either damage our engine or in the case of water, create less efficient combustion which may end up lead to a rough engine or even an engine out. So we want clean, nothing but fuel after this. So it's going to go into our fuel pump system after the fuel strainer or gas escalator, all the way into the fuel carburetor. The fuel carburetor is going to mix our fuel with air and squirt that fuel air mixture up into our four cylinders here on our four cylinder uh, engine here. We got two on this side and two on the other side. And now you have a fuel air mixture in the cylinders and then the spark plugs here are going to provide the spark. So you have your fuel, you have your air, you have your spark and you have combustion. There's one more component of the fuel system and that's the fuel primer. Fuel primer is controlled in the cockpit and is used on cold days, cold engine starts. So what this does is it takes clean fuel and pumps some clean fuel directly into one of the cylinders in hopes that this on a cold day will give a little bit extra fuel and allow your aircraft to start a little bit norm sooner than normal. You got to be careful though if this fills up with too much fuel it'll become flooded and you're gonna have to wait until this can leak down and clear out some space in that cylinder for some air so that you can start your engine so that has been pump driven systems now let's move on to gravity fed gravity fed systems are found in aircraft with high wings so the wings are up here above the engine and this pilot right here pointing at his butt <laughs> all right so the the fuel is up here in the wing tanks we're going to use gravity because they're high so we can just use gravity goes into the fuel selector valve fuel selector valve determines which tank to source from goes down into the fuel strainer or gas escalator which cleans the fuel so we got clean fuel flowing straight up into the carburetor which mixes it with air squirts it into the combustion chambers spark plugs ignite our fuel air mixture and we have combustion you also have a fuel primer, just like before, it takes clean fuel, squirts it directly into one of the chambers for a cold start. The last thing I want to mention on fuel systems is the fuel vents. 
So you have two wing tanks, left wing tank and right wing tank, and each has two vents. Usually you're going to have a vent here in the cap on both sides, and as well a tank overfill vent below the wing, and these vents help uh, depressurize and make stable pressure in your tanks during all phases of flight and allow fuel vapor, which is very flammable, to uh, exit your wings and keep your wing tanks safe. All right, everybody, thank you for listening. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at part period time period pilot or on Facebook at part period time period pilot one. Thanks again.